is a ten thousand dollar bucket of pay dirt. I can hear something heavy in there. Look at the size of that. That is huge. Good morning or good afternoon, everyone. Welcome if you're new here. My name is Polly. Today is day one in Alaska, and I'm at Gold Daughters in Fairbanks. Now, I've been following the Gold Daughters for a few years on Instagram now, and I gotta say, it's pretty overwhelming and exciting to be here in person. As you can see, I'm standing by the vehicle because we just got here, and it is way hotter than I thought it would be. And I imagine within maybe an hour or so, I'm gonna have to shed this sweater and this toque. Let's go inside. So joining me today is Tamron, better known as Rocket Man on Instagram. Now, you may recognize him from that video where he gave kids a bunch of gold nuggets. And of course, there's Chamberlain, who's helping me pan today. So, finally here. Hi. How are you? Good. Nice to finally meet yeah. you. So we, we've been talking for a while on Instagram and Facebook and such, and it does, like I said before, feels really weird to actually be here in person. See, I can actually- it's strange. I can you touch sit. things. No. Sorry. Nugget, do you want to meet somebody? I have, have to, to I have to meet here? Nugget. Oh my goodness. Real life Nugget. No. No. Is that some pay dirt? What is that? Yeah. What is that? <laughs> <laughs> So we're a gold panning attraction, right? Teaching people how to gold pan, just giving people gold fever, because that's what we have. Grew up gold panning in the area. This over here is our pay dirt menu. So we haul in pay dirt from our private mining claims for people to pan. And uh, you can kind of pick your luck where you want to start. So we have high grade bags. If people want to do high grade bags and find some gold nuggets, we can do that. And then we also have a big pile of just raw pay dirt outside that you can pan as much as you want. You never know what you can find in the pile. So all that pay dirt is wonderful. I actually heard there is a secret menu. What's this all about? What does well, this mean? I know you like finding nuggets. So for someone who's really got gold fever like yourself, we can go bigger than what's on the board. Do you want to see? I want to see. Okay. So this is our, our secret menu options. So here's this list. Where's the secret menu? Right, here. right? one press. <laughs> okay. So there's uh, Pedro Creek, $2,000, Ruby Creek, $5,000, and Queenie Creek, $10,000. How many people have actually took you up on one of these? We've done a couple of the Pedro Creek, but we've never done the Ruby or Queenie. See, I'm, I'm, in, a, I'm in a bad position right here. Hey Paul, since we're here in Alaska today where everything is bigger and certainly better, it's go big or go home and we're certainly not going home. I think we're gonna do the $10,000 one. All right. Let's go have some fun. <laughs> okay, this is why we like Rocket Man. Trading this for gold today. Perfect. So because I haven't used a gold pan in over like, I don't know, two months, I'm getting a lesson from a professional. Hello. Yes, I will teach you how to gold pan. It's very easy. So what you want to do first is get everything in your pan wet. Gold is 19 times heavier than water. So as soon as the water touches your gold, break up anything in your pan. And then uh, it's really just two steps that you repeat over and over. You're gonna have water over all of your dirt and you shake your pan side to side like this. The very scientific term for that is the shaky shaky. That's when your gold is getting buried and it sinks underneath everything else. You point the tip of your pan down and you just go in and out of the water. The very scientific term for that is the dippy dippy. And then when you have just about a spoonful of dirt, that's when you actually look for your gold for the first time. And if you have any gold, which I think you do, it's just gonna stick at the top and it'll wait for you. So this is a $10,000 bucket of pay dirt. You can barely lift it and this is gonna be our first pan of the day. Hurt my cavities. Before you start though, let me put this in here in case you lose anything. <laughs> we can go through it. I don't lose anything. <laughs> you would never. So I know. when we're done, she's gonna go through the tailings and see how I did. So I'm feeling a little bit of pressure because, well, I can't afford to drop anything. Yeah, okay, I'm just gonna peel some of these pieces back. Yeah, I can actually, I can hear something heavy in there. No, I can see some peeking. Oh my oh. goodness. <laughs> this is a monster. Another one. Oh, that's hilarious. Okay. All right, let's see if we found anything. Oh, we have something showing up there. Is that a rock? Whoa. 
Look at that rock, isn't that beautiful? <laughs> oh my goodness. Pan number one. So as you can see, the very first pan is holding a couple nice pieces of candy. I don't know what to say. If I'm sniping gold and I found one of these, I would probably cry. In fact, I feel like I'm gonna cry now. First pan down, a bunch more to go. Let's see what else lies in our bucket. Yeah, we need to get over there. <laughs> if you love gold and fun adventures, please leave a like and subscribe to this channel so you don't miss another upload. My name's Steve from Pennsylvania, actually. I bought the $200 bag of gold, and that's what's inside. So we're just about done, pan number two. Hopefully there'll be a couple pieces of black sand in here. <laughs> That's what we want. <laughs> Reveal, there we go. A couple pieces of candy. We have four pickers, a tiny piece of fly poop, and another gold nugget. <laughs> Good job. Can I have it? I'm just kidding. <laughs> Finders keepers out here, I Finders guess. keepers, yeah. oh my goodness. Doing so well. Oh, look at that one, so cute. Got a cute little oh, guy in there yeah, yeah. too, don't overlook him. So this is pan number three. Now, since it's taken a while to go through this bucket, I'm gonna make bigger piles in my pan to hopefully find more gold. Let's get this over with. I gotta say, I love the golden vibes here at Gold Daughters. Everybody is so friendly, and even the mascot comes by to say hello. So we have Chamberlain and Rocketman both panning that special pater. I'm teaching them to go really slow because of course we don't want them to drop any of the gold nuggets. I'm pretty sure the aliens have landed. Look at this thing. I asked them again to let us go in there. It ain't gonna happen. They got it locked up just like Roswell. I'm pretty sure there's something in there they don't want everybody to see. More gold nuggets. The super secret pay dirt list. So Steve just joined us on our little trough here and we're gonna give him a, a few good scoops of the pay dirt here. <laughs> you won! <laughs> Look what I just found. Boy. <laughs> Boy howdy, that's me to go in there, mate. Yeah, don't let me near the gold. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> okay, now the real professional is gonna try a pan. Uh-huh. See how she does. My turn. Thank you. They let me out to pan. My time for Zen now here. I gotta make sure I pan it over the bucket. Yeah. So we can do our tailings. The dippy dippy. Let's see what we got. Oh. Yay! Alora is on the scoreboard. Uh-huh, oh my god. A million dollars. So much fun. So I'm on my fourth or fifth bucket, I'm not really sure, but this is the gold I found so far. Incredible pieces of candy. And we still have this pan to do and the rest of the bucket. So I don't know if you can hear this, but I've been doing this long enough to know there's a big piece of black sand in there. Uh, oh. I see something. Oh my, uh, wow. oh my god! Wow! Nice. Oh my goodness! <laughs> Panning extraordinaire! What? Look at that! Look at the size of that thing! That is huge. So, this is the biggest nugget that I found so far in this pater, and honestly, the biggest nugget I've ever panned out in general. And if I were to guess, I would say this thing weighs. Pressure's on. Like 20, 20 something grams. I'd say in the 20s for sure. Jeez. Oh, pain out here. Yeah. Weird head. Let's see what else is in Zarpan. Oh, more. I can still hear something. Still hear it too. It feels light. I think that's just the rocks. There we go. Oh, there's some gold in there. Yeah, we have some. Three colors. Got some pickers in there. Pickers. <laughs> so this is the last pan of the day. We dumped the rest of the bucket in here, so now it's time to pan this out and see what we get. Doesn't feel as heavy as the last pans, but we made it. 
we have a nice little piece of candy right there. Uh -huh. <laughs> so as promised, it's Alora's turn now to see what I dropped. Uh-huh. I'll do it in two pans. Two like pans? Let's see how efficient you were. I have faith. I don't think you lost anything, but we'll see. All right, first pan, let's see. Uh-huh. Jinx. <laughs> oh no, Holly! And that's why our trough dirt can be kind of good out here too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Anytime I show up here, if you're here right after me, chances are you'll you'll have some luck. Yeah, you'll find some some nugs like that. That's a pretty good one. It was me. It was me when I did the one pan. So we got the last of the tailings in the bucket. So far, I have recovered one little nugget that you left behind. But let's see if there's anything else. This is why I like to snipe and work underwater. Panning is not really my thing. I have faith in you. That's a mistake. <laughs> <laughs> Moment of truth here again. Yay. You're good. Pretty oh my goodness, lovely. yes. I don't have to retire from gold panning. I was gonna become a gardener or something. That's awesome. I missed one. That's probably that one pan that Alora did, yeah. honestly. <laughs> so we're done for the day. We just finished up uh, getting the gold together and now Elora's gonna show us how she cleans it. Super simple. We have these little mini gold pans. Oh, look at that. Let's make sure we got everything out of there. I'm gonna dry these first before we do the huge ones. And I just pan it like I would out there. If you had any sand, it all separate here. And then just gonna take that water out and evaporate the water off of it. So this is just a little butane torch. Heats it up, dries all the water. I've done that in a plastic pan. And oh no. The gold melted through the pan. And oh it was, my God. It was awful. Yeah. These little metal pans are super convenient. Especially if you have like a snuffer bottle or something, you can still pan it in this little mini pan. Separate the sands out and then still dry it the same. Clink, clink. Let's see these big guys. Gonna hit him real quick, evaporate all the moisture off of it, and you're good to go. So sweet. Unfortunately, we never got the weight of the gold because Tamron, being a very generous guy, paid it forward and gave the gold away to one lucky customer. Let me know in the comments, what do you think it weighed? So that is it for this video. I'd like to thank Laura and Jordan for inviting us out here today to have some fun and find some gold. If you guys want to come out this way, please do. You'll find gold every single time. Thank you again so much thank for Thank you so much. It was awesome. Thank you. Congrats on your gold. <laughs> if you enjoyed this video, please let me know in the comments by leaving a like, comment, or even subscribing to the channel. Also, do it. She also has a YouTube channel yeah. as well. So check her out on Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube. Thank you. Thank it was you. awesome. <laughs> See you awesome. Next time. Thank you, guys.